us. My name is Reed. This is Julia, Alec, and Elliot, and we are CryptoPass, a suite of data encryption and management tools using AES encryption to secure your data. Uh, our suite includes a desktop app built with Electron, a mobile app built in Ionic, and a Chrome browser extension. So a, a simple use case for this app would be uh, account management. So oftentimes you have all these different accounts and each one has a different set of requirements for your passwords. And you might have to change it every 90 days and you might need one special character, maybe you need uh, a capital letter, a lowercase letter, and it really becomes unmanageable at a certain point. Three hieroglyphics. Well, in, in using CryptoPass, you can avoid all this hassle by having all your data encrypted with just one master password. Julia, please take us to the desktop app. Thank you. To keep up with our philosophy of um, keeping data off the internet as much as possible, um, when we built our desktop app, we decided um, not to store data remotely, but instead uh, locally on the user's machine and his file system by default, um, always encrypting data first using the master password the user has um, chosen. Another benefit of that is also that um, data becomes much more accessible and therefore maintainable by the user in terms of, let's say, transferring data from one computer to another. Um, in addition to that, the user still has the option to uh, store data in his personal, uh, personal Dropbox. Um, however, this is just really up to the user. Um, furthermore, keep using the same passwords. Uh, password for everything is really unsecure. However, this is what most people do since um, remembering, let's say, 100 different passwords is just not what you can or what uh, would want to do. That's why we have created a random password generator, which consists of random um, symbols and letters uh, based on the lengths the user has specified and uh, which provides a pretty strong password, as you can see here, without the necessity to ever having to remember any of the passwords. Um, in addition to that, we have built a Chrome extension um, that allows the user to access data from his browser. And now Alec is going to talk about our approach to data flow. Thanks, Julia. So because we're dealing with encrypted data, uh, it's very, we had to be very careful to make sure we didn't accidentally overwrite any of the encrypted data and corrupt everything. And because we have three apps working in sync, we wanted to make sure that all of our applications were kept up to date with each other. So behind me right now is the data flow for when we are just using the desktop app. The application reads and writes encrypted data to and from the file system. Now when we introduce the Chrome extension, we set up a secure localhost socket IO server connection between the Chrome extension and the desktop app. This allows the Chrome extension and the desktop app to communicate in real time. Now, as Julia mentioned, we have the option to back up our file onto Dropbox. With this backup, we can now use our phone app. So the first time we open the phone app, we pull from our Dropbox data, and we make a copy of it and, and encrypt that, and that becomes our mo main mobile data file. Now our mobile data flow from this point forward becomes every time we open the mobile, mobile phone app, we pull both of those data files and merge changes from the desktop app into the mobile data. Now this changes our desktop app's data flow slightly. Every time we open the desktop app, we have to now pull from the mobile data file and merge changes into our desktop data. In this way, we're able to keep everything up to date and in sync at all times without corruption. So Natalie, it's gonna talk about another feature we added. Thanks, Alec. So I'm sure some of you have used similar applications to this, such as 1Pass, 1Password, or LastPass. Um, with those applications, if you are to lose your master password, you are pretty much out of luck. There's no way to decrypt your data, and that's just a logical side effect of single key encryption. We felt that this was a little bit harsh, so we decided to give the users the option to create a separate data backup file um, in their Dropbox. And what we do is we authenticate the user with their fingerprint, and then we encrypt their data with uh, device-specific device specific identifiers. Um, if the user loses their master password, they'll be prompted to uh, show their fingerprint or 
press their thumb against the fingerprint reader. Uh, this will authenticate the user and they can then change their master password. We'll then re-encrypt both of the data files in Dropbox and next time the user logs in on their desktop machine, it'll know that they've changed their password and they'll be able to decrypt their data. Um, you can check us out at CryptoPassApp.com. Thank you all for listening. Thank you.